back to the lock boxes, right? You know, you, you mentioned a couple of people have really great strategies. And you know, one of the interesting things in, in Pascaline and Jonathan's study was one, it's a piggy bank. It's mm -hmm. not any different from a hole in the ground. Why did it take somebody coming in from outside to hand them a lock box to batter? But how how much it spread once they did. Um, you know, there's lots of spillover yeah, effects. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So usually the way that I, uh, I design things is by looking for positive deviants in the culture that are mm -hmm. doing them informally. And I mean, right here behind you, you see that actually when we first arrived in the Philippines, that, that one, the blue box, no, that, right. that's our seed box and that's our proto seed box. Right. But that blue box was already in there. I mean, the ganancha box was part of the culture and that was, the blue box was a cooperative that we're doing that. So, so all we did was create that and then added a contract on top of that. So right. that's something people had. Um, but there's, there's also an interaction with the delivery side and really being able to help people recognize how much they might need something mm -hmm. like that. Um, as well as just making it easy for them to do it. So you have these positive deviants because they either have a tremendous insight around their own challenges and have a way of fixing it, and, or they, they're just able to have that discipline mm -hmm. to, to put that into... But, you know, there's all these people in the middle who, if, they, if it was easy to get into it and easy to do it, they would do it, but otherwise they're not going to do it. And that's where I think technology solutions could be really helpful, particularly as we think about more and more people having mobile phones and mobile apps. I, think, I, I just think this is wide open space for that. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, I come from something of a technology background, mm -hmm. and so right. I so worry it, it, a lot yeah. about the silver bullet thing. Not yeah. just the silver bullet thing, but. You know, so many people use technology badly yeah. that, you know, if you poll the people around here, mm. how many of them have malware protection on their phones? Right. And I guarantee the answer is less than 5%. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you know, if I was a Russian mobster, yeah. what I would be right. doing yeah, is moving to Nairobi. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right? There's huge amounts of well, transactions. Yeah, there. no, so that's for sure. And the other thing is, I think, it's only going to work if it's combined with a somewhat deeper, I mean, our conversation was around pretty deep things mm -hmm. and all of these things that, that we've designed have been around a lot of qualitative work, a lot of deep understanding of what the customer really wants and is. And you can't just jump in, you know, right. so there has to be some kind of combination of these things. But, so, yeah, I completely take your, your cautionary note for sure. But. The design of a product, and you, I've been looking for a while for any evidence that personal financial management software, you know, robust evidence mm. that personal financial management software changes people's decisions, and I haven't been able to find anything. And so, yeah. again, yeah. The even like mint.com and stuff, right? Right. Yeah. So the people who use it are people who yeah, for sure. pay attention. So, but, but I know. I know, but what kind of information is going to actually help people? You know, it should help people. This but is what where kind I think of information is in what way? We need, you know, behavior changes beliefs. Mm -hmm. So we are requiring people to first change their beliefs, do financial education, then know which product they need, then change their behavior. Mm -hmm. And we need things that are low cost behaviors they can start to do that makes them see themselves differently mm -hmm. and just enables them to keep going along that path. And so. I would say that's why I'm a fan of using products mm -hmm. along with, you know, because I, I, I think it's really about getting people to start doing these behaviors mm -hmm. little by little by little. That's what we know. And that's, that's when like cognitive dissonance comes in. That's when, you know, a lot of the psychological levers that we need in order to actually shift the kind of person we are, the one that goes to mint.com or not, you mm -hmm. know. And we also don't know how to make people from naive to sophisticated, you know, mm -hmm. we don't have the evidence on that. but, but. Yeah, and, I, and, and so I, I would say really low cost, low commitment things that get people in and then keep ramping up their commitment. Mm -hmm. And through those small behaviors will change their underlying preferences and beliefs. Mm -hmm. So this stochasticity that's part of our nature as humans is also really critical. You know, and that's why, so I, I really believe in, in accompaniment, mm -hmm. not patronizing accompaniment, but really understanding that um, we've used a lot of sticks and, you know, this, the, the savings product and there's, there's a lot of sticks there. Right. But we also respond quite significantly to more than monetary carrots, you know, and, and in particular, 
just being accompanied along that process.